new tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this? Hey, Nasha? Ah. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. Ah! <laughs> disasters? Check. Now for TV. Hey! <laughs> Be in charge is brilliant! How do you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly, but Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash. Hi! Gran. Nash, Nash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt, and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose, and me and Nasha are gonna catch it today. We'll be heroes. That's nice, Dennis. I join you, but I'm babysitting. I... Yeah. All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! Ah, tiger! Hey? You! Don't you know there's a dangerous animal on the loose? Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. <laughs> you couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi! Oh, Don't worry, B dear, Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! Smash. And smash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash, nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis, haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on. Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it!
Bend to the bunker! Come on! Look! Tiger hunting's awesome! Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's round here? Look! Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> You need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. <laughs> in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beanotown's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> get off! That's <laughs> finest <laughs> rump steak! Fire. Cover anything in green paint? Or ketchup? Nope. Gran, they locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild sea lion to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Dennis! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! Ah, I love sports day. 
Oh, yes. Where's that, Dennis? Fresh air, no lessons, and a million ways to make menacing mayhem. Whoopee cushions, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin. Like Nasha loves sports day too. I think Pie Face needs some help choosing a discus. Go, Nasha! Nasha boy! Oh, thanks, Den. So, wind from the east, medium density cross. Come on, Pie Face! We haven't got all day! Third time lucky. <laughs> nice throw, Pie Face. Oh, sometimes you're just in the zone. <clears throat> Dash! Dash! Oh, we're too late to menace this race. Patience, Curly. Three, two, one. That's my frog. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Toad. And the gold medal for menacing goes to. Sadis. Exactly. Oh. You have ruined Sports Day. Dennis, you've disgraced the school. Sir, it's clear he knows nothing about sportsmanship, unlike me. You're right. Walter, my boy, why don't you teach Dennis about discipline in the three-legged race? Genius idea, Headmaster. Me? Strapped to him? No way! <laughs> you come back here, Dennis! <laughs> Slippers handcuffs for the three legged race. What a good idea. I've been waiting ages to get these on, Dennis. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Shall I look after the key for you, Sergeant? I'm going to win this race, so keep up. Oh, your shoelace is untied, Walter. Is it? Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The winner is me! What? No, I did all the work. You let go! My, oh, I put the trophy! Let go! <laughs> you, that was your fault! Walter, you were a shining example to Dennis. Well, I'm always keen to help the school where I can. Uh, may we now consider this lesson finished? Get me out of this! I seem to have lost the key. What? Well, where did you last have it? Oh, over there, I think. Or maybe it was over there. Or there. Oh, dear. Where's the key, Angel Face? Not telling. I'll teach you to put a frog in my sack. Excuse me. What did I do? You laughed. 
Well, it was quite funny. Thanks, Walter. Oh, be quiet, Dennis. Well, let's see how funny you find this. Maybe I'll remember where the key is if the two of you get me, um, an ice drop flower from right at the top of Mount Beano. That's miles away. Better get a move on then, hadn't you? This way! <laughs> Nash! Ow! Stupid animal! Don't talk about Nasha like that. I wasn't talking about Nasha. Oh, that's it! I've had enough. Nasha, chew my leg off. <laughs> you two have got to work together. Nasha, give them a rhythm. Nash! 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 We have to split up. See you at Mount Beano, Dennis. Oi, you two, come here. Run, Walter. Run! Why, you little look You old dick, you done our shot! We can slow down now, Dennis. Menaces don't know the meaning of slow. Hey, nice timing, you two. A nice emergency break-in. Yep, uh, works every time. We've just got to climb the mountain. How hard could it be? No, <laughs> oh, I love a good nature ramble. This should be fun. Pie face, Curly, stay here. If I don't make it back, promise me you'll keep on menacing this town. OK, Nasha, let's do this. Nash! Oh, no, Dennis. This time we do it my way. <laughs> and if you look to your left, you'll see the lesser spotted pine tree. And... Oh, what's that? From now on, we work together. Truce? <laughs> Truce. Steady. <laughs> there it is, the ice drop flower. We made it. <laughs> oh, where is that key? Now, don't you worry, Angel Face. It'll pop up. We did it! Almost fell off a mountain, but we did it! Oh, well, a deal's a deal. Oops! Oh, I found it! Oh, it was round my neck all the time. Oh, oh well done, Angel Face. What? You're not seriously falling for that? Walter, you picked up Dennis's bad habits. Come on, let's get you uncuffed before there's any more damage. At last! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Back to normal. Yes! Half a trophy's better than none. It's a pity Angel Face got away scot-free. As usual. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Hmm, absolutely. Read it.
It's acquired and locked on. Drop the cake tin, Menace. Yow! Sorry, miss. And no snacks in school either. <laughs> How does the tester keep doing that? Uh, with that? More contraband, Mr. Detester. <laughs> Confiscation completed. Isn't it marvellous? The Confiscatinator 5000. Maximum security, state-of-the-art confiscation system. CCTV wired straight into my office and nothing or no one gets in or out without the password. Soon there'll be no pranks, no snacks, no toys, no anything. They'll all be locked away. That confiscatinator holds every pea shooter, every stink bomb, every pie we ever lost. We have to crack it. Ah, oh, forget it, Dennis. The staff room is always full of teachers. There's no way. There's always a way, Curly. <laughs> My little sister B can clear any room. Yeah, but the tester has eyes everywhere. No ball games in school. Hmm. We need someone to distract him. Someone no one would ever suspect. Oh, oh, uh, William Shakespeare? But miss, my dad, the headmaster, said I have to do this exercise because of my basketball elbow. Oh, right. Carry on. Oh, someone who's Mr. Detester's daughter. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. together to crack the confiscatinator. You in? What's in it for me? A share of the loot. I want half. I'll give you 50% and no more. Deal. Calling up the confiscatinator schematics. Hmm. I can decode the password, but the override switch is protected by a network of lasers. Hmm. Someone has to get through without tripping the alarm. Someone brave. Huh, oh. Someone with great agility. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else. Ow, I think I broke my bum. <laughs> wow, he's really good. But how are we going to get a teacher's pet like Walter to join us? Rehearsal, Walter. The recital's going to be a triumph. Oh, it's nothing. Just a testament to my talent, artistry and genius. I've also composed a new piece for the street dance ballet mashup. <laughs> what are you cacophonous cretins doing here? Ah, uh, then make us practice. <laughs> the confiscatinator. But, but I need it for my recital. You should have thought of that before you decided to use my bottom for target practice. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a plan. To get back everything that was taken from us. The confiscatinator is here. The staff room is here. And the tester's office is here. Well, I can't see anything like this. This tree house is for Menace's eyes only. But what about Angel Face? Oh, I can't wear blindfolds because of my delicate eyes. Exactly. Now, as I was saying, the confis... Hey, who's eating the confiscatinator? Oh, oh, sorry. <sighs> Never mind. Let's go to work. 
Shirt, no chewing. Boy pulling funny faces, no pulling funny faces. Hmm. I hope that wasn't his actual face. Daddy, I need help with my homework. No problem, Angel Face. What is it? Hard sums or a spelling test? Making a meticulously accurate scale model of a four masted 16th century galleon entirely out of toothpicks. Really? Oh, oh, oh. Are you sure? Doing by the end of lunchtime. Right. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, um, well, well, we'll start with the cannon deck, shall we? Yes. At least the CCTV's still covered. Where was that alarm coming from? Oh, that was me. Um, making a foghorn noise for the ship. Aww. A foghorn? On a 16th century galleon? <gasps> the Confiscatorator! No! Wait! CCTV camera! It's okay. Nasher and Pie Face are guarding the corridor. <laughs> what are you doing here? My dad's on the loose. <laughs> we have to warn Dennis. Choir's improving. <gasps> the Nash signal! Let's get out of here! Uh -huh. Hello, Father. I may need a lawyer. Caught you red-handed. No, no, our hands are normal flesh-coloured. We, we just fought off a, a gang of, um... Ah, uh, international prank and toy thieves. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, prank and toy thieves, who were just here a minute ago, but they escaped. Through the window, using jetpacks. <laughs> oh. uh, anywho, uh, we'd better get back to class. Not so fast. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. But first, I'll bring the system back online. Intruder detected! Ooh. Hey! Let me out! Good work, team. Hey, my bow! Sorry, Walter. Angel Face gets 50% of everything. What about Detester? We'll let him out. Once he's had time to calm down. Oh, I passed something through the air vent to keep him busy till the locksmith gets here. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll let me out in the morning. Let's get on with that ship. Hey, watch the porthole. Hmm. 
the secrets my extra hot peppers. Stand back, spoon lickers. I need all these for my pasta salad. Hello, Walter. Oh, oh! You nearly peeled him! Presentation is the key to... Tossed salad? You are both banned from food tech and I am sending letters to your parents. A letter to my parents? It's an outrage. I'll go to the headmaster, to the school board, to the prime minister. You'll go to detention if you don't stop making a fuss. <laughs> Mom, letter for you from school. Oh, put it with the others. <laughs> What's that, Walter? Did you win another prize? No, Father. This letter marks the darkest hour in my thus far illustrious school career. Walter has been banned from food tech due to his misbehaviour. Misbehaviour? Impossible! I'll go to Mr Detesta, to the school board, to the Prime Minister! That's what I said, but I was threatened with detention. Even though it was all Dennis's fault. Hmm. Then let's invite Dennis and his parents for dinner so we can talk about this. What? Bring a menace into our domestic paradise? And while they're here, we can make Dennis admit that he's guilty and that Walter is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> dinner at Walter's house? But it'll be boring and no fun. And did I mention boring? Just get ready while I deal with your father. Dinner at Walter's house, but it'll be boring. Whoopee cushion, pea shooter, itching powder, dribble glass, green soap. Maybe this will be fun after all. Nash, 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 nash! together and getting on. Which brings us to why we asked you here tonight. We wanted to clear the air after that spot of trouble in food tech. Oh, well, you know what boys are like. I know what Dennis is like, but Walter would never cause trouble. <laughs> I mean, look at all his awards. <laughs> And this one's for his grade five performance on the Fijian nose flute. Dennis has certificates too. Well, letters from the police anyway. Dribble glasses go. <laughs> well, Walter never causes trouble. Well, that doesn't mean Dennis made the mess in food tech. <laughs> oh, honestly, Dennis. <laughs> it's a good job I bought one of B's bottles. <laughs> Cool. You got any games? I don't have games. I only use the computer for homework. Time for some extra hard sums, I think. Time for some good old itching powder, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just 
want Dennis to admit it was his fault. I've drafted a confession for... I, I mean, a statement for him to sign. We're not signing anything. Aha! Uh -huh. I see where he gets it from. No discipline. That's why your boy's a menace. Well, your boy has no fun. That's why he's a telltale. Look at all the pranks Dennis was planning. See? Mm -hmm. Dennis is clearly the troublemaker. Now, about that confession. No, I'll prove Dennis can behave. But do you have the guts to misbehave? Well, why would he want to do that? Dennis will behave during dinner. I will. There's an afternoon at Beano Town Fair in it for you. I will. But I dare you to pull a prank <gasps> and not get caught. Don't be absurd. I'm not doing that. I'll do it too, and loser takes the blame for what happened in food tech. Unless you're chicken. There we go. Okay, on. All you have to do is put a pair of sunglasses on one of the Colonel's garden gnomes. I'll go first. I don't get it. What's the point? <sighs> if you have to ask, you'll never understand. Loose flagstone, three steps from the door. Quickest escape is over the hedge. Watch out for the garden hose. Man. Uh, um, uh, good evening, the Colonel. I was just uh, admiring your roses. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it. He got caught. We win. No, that was only half the bet. Dennis still has to behave all the way through dinner. We're about to eat, Cyril. The boys should wash their hands. But I don't want to wash my hands. Remember, being all town fair. Fine, I'll wash my hands. Green soap? They're trying to frame me! Ah, uh, look, look! Trick soap! Dennis is pulling a prank, you lose! No, no, uh, that's not a prank, that's a, a special seaweed skincare soap. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Quite an improvement! <gasps> my pea shooter! My whoopee cushion! My itchy powder! Remember, no tricks, pranks, or menacing of any kind. <gasps> Must resist pranks. Enjoy the food, it's organic. Peas dinners. Well, this is nice, and maybe I was wrong. Dennis is behaving. Yeah, so should all come over again next week. And the week after that. And after that. And after that. And after that. Yeah! I can't take it anymore! Dennis! And for my grand finale! You lose. He used the pea shooter, the itching powder, and the whoopee cushion. That wasn't the whoopee cushion. It was organic. All in all, not a bad evening. Although I reckon I'm still in big trouble about food tech. And I'm in big trouble at home. You can forget about an afternoon at being old town fair. Too right. We're taking you there for the whole day. What? Oh, I couldn't stand another minute of Walter and his family showing off. And if it wasn't for your menacing, we'd still be over there. Well, Mum, genius wears a strike jumper. <laughs> Everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace-making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... Nasha! <laughs> A potato?
Till? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The Spud Space program's gonna have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasher, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! We'll have a car wash. Look. Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have 5,000 stars, we'll pull in... Uh, <laughs> two million cars! Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly! We've a menace car wash to set up! And 5,000. <sighs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalised the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. <laughs> Curly, time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Precedes you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Uh, technically, we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're going to get it back. First class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Up for Beano Town's fastest car wash. <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Huh? Uh, there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Be 
recommending your car wash to all of our friends. <laughs> Mayor Scrimp has friends. Mm-hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right, my avian adversary. This means war. <laughs> uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered wooden beaked warbler. Uh, who? Uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no. I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm-hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. Uh oh! What do you mean? Uh oh! The target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh oh! <laughs> Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Ash, oh. Ash. <laughs> okay, everybody, try to look like a car. <laughs> what is going on, Dennis? <laughs> Can't talk. Oh, but this should cover the Astro Spud bill. Yeah. And the dry cleaning. <laughs> Walter, act like a vehicle. Don't be ridiculous. I am not going to act like a vehicle. This nonsense ends now. <laughs> For your Paul. Potato in the hole! <laughs> Him! Private Potato! For bravery under fire, being fired, and being on fire! Him! And Dennis! for your contribution to the preservation of an endangered species. You mean the wooden beak warbler? No, I mean Walter. Mm. Ha. Now, can somebody get my vehicle clean? No. Oh, oh, oh. 